Yet again, I'm late with an NFL Week 6 preview and prediction. The Bears-Commanders game is already playing right now, and as of the time of this recording, it's about 8.07 Central. That game is still scoreless. And again, I was not going to really talk much about this game anyway, but garbage. Pure garbage. If you're watching that game, you should be ashamed of yourselves. If you're watching it, unless you're a sicko that really, really gets his football kicks off on watching this game, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Be be better than that. Be better. We got a game. We got a good slate of games on Sunday and Monday night, though. You know, we got the 49ers and the Falcons to start up the Sunday games. No London games this week. You know. Falcons are frisky. They should have beaten Tampa Bay last week, but they didn't. You know, they got they got a they got a good running game. And they got a good running game, got a good defense. I mean, it's it's clicking. Things are clicking for Atlanta. But they just haven't found a way to win them all. And Jimmy G and the 49ers, they they they, they do have answers. They can stop, you know, this type of attack from the Falcons, but hey, they gotta be diligent about it. This one's going to be a good one on Sunday. Patriots-Browns, also an interesting one. You know, you know the Browns don't have a run defense. You know, don't really seem to, you know, have Jacoby Brissett be confident. And, I mean, you know, we don't know what in the world the situation is with Mac Jones for the Patriots. You know, Patriots also have injuries on the you know, other key places at the ball position. So, I mean, this one's just going to be an interesting one to see who's going to get the 3-3. Three and three. Somebody's going to get the 3-3. Three and three. Somebody's going to drop to 2-4. and four. Not something, you know, I'd, I'd sit here and watch. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, unless you're a Browns or a Patriots fan, I wouldn't I wouldn't sit back for this one. You know, the Browns have been struggling a little bit. The Patriots have definitely been struggling. But they're a little bit more evenly matched. So, this one could be interesting. I'll tell you what, that much. Jets, Packers, that one is going to be real fun. Real fun. I don't know what in the world's wrong with Green Bay's defense, but they got to get it together, man. You got this Packers offense feeding you, you know, they're, they're feeding you life by, you know, making the game easier on you and you don't want to contribute, you know. Like the Packers offense can score. They can score, they can make the plays, they can do what they need to do. It's just the defense ain't all the way there. And Zach Wilson, he's strutting into Lambeau. He's strutting into Lambeau to face the Packers. And he's confident. He's got a, he's got a nice stretch of games that he's won. He's confident. He and the rest of the Jets are confident that they will come in and beat the Packers. This is not something you want to be right now as a Packers fan. You don't want to be a Packers fan, you know, hesitating at this game. But that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this is the same way Packers fans should feel. Like, I'm kind of hesitant about this one. You know, there's got to be a fine line here. The Packers have to win this game. The Jets want it more. You got to put your foot down. You got to put your foot down if you're the Packers. The Jags and the Colts, that one is something. The Colts' defense is nice. Trevor Lawrence, you know, kind of iffy-iffy. Ryan, I almost said Ryan, Matt. I meant Matt Ryan. Mans is probably going to get injured both before the season's over, honestly. Like, dude is, dude is, dude's got an offensive line that can't protect him at all. We've seen this, and I mean... We've seen this Colts team play in some of the worst games I think we've seen in quite some time. Like, again, I don't know how this team is 2-2 two and two and 1, but they shouldn't be 500 right now. They really shouldn't be. They are that bad. The Jags, they're 2-3 and three by their own volition. We thought they were something legit. Turns out they're probably not. Vikings, Dolphins, still kind of a, still kind of a you know... Interesting one because you know Skyler Thompson's gonna start for the Dolphins and then you know we don't know what in the world's gonna happen with some of the other players on this Dolphins team, Xavier Howard, Teron Armstead. I mean 
there, there, there's there's players that may not be available for this game, and the Vikings might be able to take advantage of that. You know, like the Vikings, you know, they haven't impressed me all that much because I haven't really watched them play that much. Like I missed the London game where they played against the Saints, um, but they haven't impressed me that much in particular. Because again, the last time I watched them play was that Monday night game against the Eagles where they got absolutely throttled in that game. So, this this one's going to be real intriguing because again, there's so many questions about Miami right now. Like It feels like Miami was going to be something, but now the injuries have unfortunately derailed them. I feel like they're, they're going to be another example of of injuries derailing a team. I feel like they're going to be another one of those examples and they, they don't want to be that, but it, it might happen if they can't stay healthy. Bengals Saints. Now that one's that one's interesting. You know, Trey Hendrickson's coming back against his old team. You know, in the Saints and you know the Saints defense, they they they're they're pretty good, you know. Um this one's gonna be intriguing. I'll tell you that much. It's another battle of teams that you know by the end of the game could be three and three. Because you never know, there could be another tie in the NFL. That's just how it is. Um, I'm I'm not confident in either of these teams. Like the Bengals, they they've squandered away opportunities. You know, against the Cowboys, you know when they should have taken advantage. You know. Of Cooper Rush and company, they did not, you know, on defense, they couldn't do anything on offense in that game, and they couldn't do anything on offense in their other losses as well. You know, the Ravens game was a bad example of, you know, just the Bengals just not being in sync. They're not in sync. They have the pieces, they're just not fit together in a puzzle yet, and they gotta be in a puzzle. They gotta be in a perfect puzzle, and it's just not there yet. Saints. Kind of the same thing. Not a perfect puzzle. They got to be a perfect puzzle. Speaking of the Ravens, they're playing the Giants. Oh, yes. Big time game. Big time game. You know, right here. This is, you know, this is a good one. You know, Lamar Jackson, cold blooded. Cold blooded. You know, and I mean, this is going to be a good one. For Wink Martindale, can can he can he get this Giants team, you know, able to stop Lamar Jackson? Can can they stop him? Can they stop the rest of this Ravens offense? We know can play. If that does not come to shove, you know, and they have to and the Ravens have to rely on Justin Tucker like they did last week. Um, can the Giants push him out of range? That yes, I said out of range. I mean. Honestly, Justin Tucker could probably kick it from anywhere on the field and make it. But um, the Giants, they have the defense that can try. They might have to do something that will force Justin Tucker to be out on the field a lot and get their offense going. Giants have to get their offense going as well. Can they do that? We'll find out. And then you got the Buccaneers and the Steelers. Don't know why this game is a thing because, I mean, can he pick it? Not that great. You know, Tampa Bay's corners also just, uh, and the offense, uh, you know, and but the Steelers, they're just that bad. Like, we'll see if the Bucks, you know, have a, have a struggle day with them. But honestly, it's the Steelers. They're just not that good this year. Kenny Pickett starting now. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of wrap it up. Time for the Yenzers to go home. Rams Panthers. That one should be a. Um, well, actually, no. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot it's the Panthers. I don't know what in the world is wrong with the Panthers. Like again, Matt Rule got fired. Yay! Yay! I don't know how Steve Wilkes is gonna stay interim coach. Cause I mean, they they have they have guys. This just. They're all injured, and I don't even know. I guess P.J. Walker's going to be the quarterback now from the looks of it. Maybe Baker Mayfield's not going to be the quarterback anymore. We know where the Rams are, you know, kind of mentally. Like, they they don't know where they are either. 
Like they're still celebrating the high off that Super Bowl, and they got to get off that high. They they got to get sobered up and get back to business, which is winning games. And they did not do that last week against my Cowboys. They did not. So um, I wonder when the real L.A. Rams are gonna show up. They got to show up right now. They better do it. Cardinal Seahawks in a game of two struggling teams. I mean, my goodness. Yeah, you got J.J. Watt. Yeah, you got Zach Allen. Yeah, you got a nice defense. But that defense, you know, Rondell Moore, too, you know. Yeah, 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 that defense is nice. But it has been playing like a solid defense. Like, you feel like, I feel like I should be bringing up these names each and every week. But I'm not, because the Cardinals defense just hasn't been playing like the Cardinals defense should have. And you got Geno Smith out here balling out like he's... You know, winning a Heisman or something like that. You know, in Madden or, or something like that. Like winning an MVP in Madden or something. Because, I mean, he's just balling out. Like, I, I I genuinely do not know how in the world this man continues to play the way he's been playing. And then you got, you know, the rest of the Seahawks defense. They can't stop a fly. They've been able to try, but they haven't been able to, you know, completely stop uh, anything. Like, the flies get through the fly gel. And that's just not a recipe for success, you know. And then you got a big one, the biggest game of the season so far, one of the biggest games at least, the Bills and the Chiefs, the only game in that 325 window. Yeah, yeah, the last two games were in that 305 window, but that's the regional window. Everybody and their mother is going to be watching Chiefs-Bills. I guarantee you that. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, the matchup from a last year that ended in insanity I want I want to see it again let's run it back run it back and then the Cowboys and the Eagles Cooper Rush probably starting this game against Jalen Hurts and company we'll see how these two defenses can tango against these young quarterbacks because we got some good defenses here in this one we got a good game in Philly Honestly, you know, if the Eagles start to run, that's going to spell a little bit of trouble because the Eagles can run a little better than Dallas. At times, Dallas, you know, can't seem to figure out who's going to be the number one guy. We Honestly, if you were asking me, it's Tony Pollard. You know, Zeke is kind of losing his steam a little bit, unfortunately. I mean, that's just, it's just it's what it is. Like, I'm, I'm just being real. Like, it feels like Zeke is losing his steam. I'd say, you know, keep them both in tandem, but use Pollard a little more. Like, still start seat, use Pollard more. And then, you know, I mean, where do I begin with the Eagles? Like, again, the running game, Jalen Hurts can just run on you. But, I mean, you also got Dallas Goddard. You got, you got Devontae Smith. I mean, my goodness, man. This is, a, this is an Eagles team that can play undefeated, too. The only undefeated team left in the NFL. Are they going to be undefeated by the end of Sunday night, though? We'll find out. And then Monday night, to wrap it all up, the Chargers and the Broncos. Who who, who made this into a Monday night game? What is wrong with you? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to us all? Like, this, this Broncos defense is good, but I don't know what in the world is going on with Russell Wilson. Mans can't do anything on this Broncos offense. And the Chargers, they like to mess things up, too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Justin Herbert hasn't been able to do as much. Keenan Allen injured. Joey Bosa, you know, on the other side of the ball, he's been he's been doing his thing. But it hasn't been enough at times, you know, because it feels like, again, the Chargers should be 3-2 right now. But they are 3-2. Because of that defense, you know, sometimes. Because that defense and the offense sometimes just cannot gel together in a full 60 minutes. And the Broncos are just, they're just a mess. An absolute mess that shouldn't even be on national TV, but they are. I really don't want to watch this. But if you're sick enough to watch this, I, I think you, you, you deserve you. Sickos deserve this game and the Bears Commanders game because the Chargers, again, they like to mess things up for themselves with bad play calling, and the Broncos do the same thing. So, this one could end up being decided by somebody's dumb decisions. We'll find out whose 
and I'll see you all on Monday night. Take care, have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Because we got some football to talk about of the indoor variety. Big Boy Sports, signing out.